It's odd that I've written two novels out of 12 about Americans who leave this country and, and go and live in Canada and stay there. Um, although uh, the characters who do that are, are very different and their reasons for doing so are, are also different. Uh, the reasons are political in the case of Johnny Wheelwright, the narrator of A Prayer for Owen Meany. Um, he does hate his country. Um, that's not the case uh, for Danny Bacigalupo and his dad. Um, they're fugitives. They're running away. It's not their choice uh, to go to Canada, although it does become Danny's choice to stay. Um, I couldn't do that. Uh, I couldn't do it primarily uh, as a writer. I think if I'm going to continue uh, to pick on my country in some way as a writer, uh, I better live here. I, I, I better uh, be here firsthand, um, and not as a, a, an expatriate. Um, so I would disagree with the Ketchum character. Uh, in Last Night in Twisted River when he tells Danny that um, uh, he should leave uh, th this country and, and stay away. Uh, I, 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 I would disagree with that um, in my case. Uh, in my case, too, unlike Danny, I have three children and four grandchildren. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I live part-time in Toronto because my wife is Canadian. Um, but... Um, uh, I'm an American, and I, I always um, uh, will be. I remember thinking in the last years of the Vietnam War that I would never see this country as divided uh, again as it was in those years. But I was wrong. I think um, we as a people are, are more divided today. Um, I think back in the latter years of the Vietnam War, it was chiefly that war that divided us. I don't think it's fair or enough to say that we are divided today because of, or only because of, the wars in Afghanistan and in Iraq. I think there are other deep political and cultural rifts in this country. Uh, conservative, liberal rifts, uh, religious and not religious rifts. I think there are any number of differences among Americans that uh, divide us um, angrily uh, and sharply. Uh, and, um, you know, boy, I, uh, uh, I, I really... Um, have the highest hopes uh, for uh, President Obama. I am um, uh, very excited about him, but he has inherited such a mess, uh, such uh, a turmoil, that um, I hope people um, uh, will give him time. Uh, to sort it out and to undo at least some of the damage that George W. Bush did to this country. And um, I think I'm already too old to realistically imagine that even if Mr. Obama is hugely successful, that he can actually undo uh, all the damage um, George W. Bush uh, did to this country's reputation, to the way we are seen uh, outside of this country, to the way other people in the world uh, see us. Maybe that can be recovered or that reputation that we once had can be regained, that good reputation. Uh, uh, maybe it will be regained in my children's lifetimes, but I, I don't expect uh, uh, to see it um, uh, happen. There is, of course, a lot of anti-Americanism around the world um, that is simply uh, hostile uh, and, and vehement uh, and um, 
uh, motivated um, by the desire to see any democratic way of life um, destroyed. Um, but there's another kind of anti-Americanism that we have um, contributed to. Uh, and uh, it, it, it embarrasses me. Um, uh, I'm, I am sick of seeing um, this country's uh, bully patriotism uh, used as a smokescreen and as a cover-up uh, for things we haven't done right. Mm -hmm.